Hallelujah. Welcome to the Voice of Glory Prayer Hour. God bless you. If you are joining in today, I want you to know that God loves you so much. And it's a privilege for us to fellowship together. In Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We love you. We thank you for bestowing upon us the grace to be alive at this moment. In spite and despite everything that the enemy has done thus far, we thank you because it is you we choose to focus on. We give you praise because you are our strength by the joy in the Holy Ghost that you have given unto us. We ask that on today's program you take preeminence and glorify your son Jesus. Bless each and every one of us and let our lives never be the same. Move us from glory to glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Please join me as we take our anchor scripture from the book of Psalm chapter 29. We'll be reading the whole of the chapter, Psalm chapter 29 from verse 1. As we read meditatively, trusting the Lord to cause his voice to be heard even on today's program. Amen. Psalm 29 from verse 1 declares, Give unto the Lord. O you mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. <laughs> the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. Yes, the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the kinds to calf and discovers the forest. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. The Lord sits upon the flood. Yes, the Lord sits king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. Amen. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Amen and amen. Let's take our last anchor scripture for today from the book of Psalm again, chapter 23. Psalm 2 and 3. Psalm 23 from verse 1. I want you to personalize it as we do. As we worship Jehovah Rohi, our great shepherd himself. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. Amen. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, freshness. He leads me beside the still waters, peace. He restores my soul, continuous replenishment. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his namesake, guidance. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, protection. For thou art with me, fellowship, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, leadership and guidance. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Ooh, glory to God. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely, <laughs> undoubtedly, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. That just fired me up to worship God. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Our great shepherd, we worship you. Once again, I welcome you wherever you are joining us from today. God bless you. Although this program is not live, I want you to know that it is a prophetic broadcast and therefore even as I'm talking today I speak into the day that this will be released on here but please follow me diligently today by the spirit of the Lord the last time we met we were talking about not quenching the spirit of God and we took our bearing from the scripture and that from the book of first Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 19 that says quench not the spirit Talking about not suppressing the Holy Ghost. Jesus, when he was leaving the earth, 
said, Behold, I go unto my father, but I will not, I will not leave you without a comforter. And he said, I will send the Holy Ghost, whom the world cannot receive, but only those in the kingdom who declare the Lordship of Jesus Christ. He said, He will come and He will guide you into all truth. And the reason why we were charging ourselves about not suppressing or quenching the Spirit is because there is always a way that seems right to a man, but the end of it is the way of destruction. But the Holy Ghost in us will always speak unto us part time, helping us to navigate life. Even as Psalm 23 declares, it says, You will lead me in the path of righteousness. Paths. There are many paths of righteousness. So it's not as constrained as you might think. Yes, the way is narrow, but I tell you, it is enjoyable. There are streams of joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. The reason why we should not quench the Holy Spirit is because He is for us and in us to help us triumph through Christ. So today we continue in that line, but I would just like us to worship God before we launch into the Word and into prayers. Amen. I was being fired up during the week by Victoria Renzi and I would just like to play a worship um, ministration even as we praise God together. Amen. Please join me as we worship God together with Pastor Victoria Renzi. Amen. Jehovah, you are a man of war. Your mercy and your reign forever and ever. We praise your holy name. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jehovah, you are a man of war. Your mercies endures forever and ever. Oh, praise His holy name. Hallelujah. Lift up Jesus. La codi berodi eleminosi. Yambre du yekodi. Aredu ye beni, upi tu ki beni menu ye li kedi. Alleluia ye, o melebi sabadi kabe saide. Lift up Jesus, lift up Jesus, Alleluia, is King of Kings. Yes, lift up Jesus, He is Lord of Lords. Lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Lift up Jesus, He is King of Kings. Lift up Jesus, He is Lord of Lords. Lift up Jesus, He is King of Kings, King of Kings. And Lord of Lords, yes, lift up Jesus, He is King of Kings, yes, lift up Jesus, He is Lord of Lords, lift up Jesus, He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. I know his name. Woo! Hallelujah. His name is wonderful. I know his name. Do you know his name? I know his name. Hallelujah. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful, I know His name, I know His name, 
I know his name, his name is Counselor, I know his name, yes, hallelujah, I know his name, his name is Comforter, I know his name, I know his name, I know his name, his name is Man of War. I know his name, yes, I know his name, I know his name, his name is merciful, I know his name, merciful father, I know your name, I know his name, his name is merciful, I know his name, I know his name. I know his name, his name is merciful, I know his name, I know his name, I know his name, his name is merciful, I know his name, I know his name, do you know his name? I know his name, his name is merciful. I know his name, I know his name, I know his name, his name is merciful, I know his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, what manner of man is Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Karabok shalemi telibeyuno. Adi amine, caro di peruce fredia, caro di shaline. What manner of man is Jesus? Kaya sado vele. Allelu, alleluia. Allelu, alleluia. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, he comes to the Father of the Lord. Ready to look at him, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Good old Saturday, tired of Saturday, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please worship the Lord with me. Even as we are worshiping God, I'm hearing the voice of the Lord say that the trap of darkness that would have led to somebody's death is already being cancelled. In the name of Jesus. You shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. Every appearance of darkness concerning your earth is being rolled away by the blood of Jesus. The trap of death is cancelled and removed. In Jesus' name. Let's praise God. Hallelujah for the Lord God, O oh, many potent prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Woo! Hallelujah for the Lord God, O oh, many potent prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for the Lord God. 
pulling up on that train. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Woo! The Baradoshe. Carlos de Fedile Merudi Shida. Yetie Menino C. Woo! Hallelujah. The rock that never fails. Let me, I be you. Yes. In you there is power, the rock that never fails. Let me, I be you. Let me, I be you. In you there is power, the rock that never fails. Let me, I be you. Let me, I be you. In you there is wisdom, the rock that never fails. Let me I be you, let me I be you, in you there is wisdom, the rock that never fails, let me I be you, let us I be you, in you there is power, the rock that never fails, let us I be you, let us I be you. In you there is mercy, the Lord, Carlos Adeli, ever turning inside again. Let us be you. In you there is mercy, the rock that never fails. Let us be you. Let us be you. In you there is mercy, the rock that never fails. Let us be you. Let us I be you. In you there is mercy, the rock that never fails. Let us I be you. Let us I be you. In you there is comfort. Kai. Yege do many loves. I believe for a real I go be in a little. I go be a little. Regodi shadodi paradi shaledi perija dere suti peri taberu tikami peguya. Oh, the rock that never fails. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. Me alone there is none. Me alone there is none. Me Hallelujah. 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 He reigns. He reigns. Hallelujah. He reigns. He reigns. Hallelujah. Yerodi Shabari Sogeri Sagedu Kaile Menosi. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. He reigns, he reigns, hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you joined in that powerful praise session. It is good to praise God and to worship the Lord. I just wanted our spirit man to be charged before we go into the word of the Lord. I'll be very quick so that we can pray together adequately. But please come with me to the book of Romans chapter 6. That is where I sense that the Spirit of the Lord would have me start from. Even as we continue on the topic, do not quench the Spirit of God. And uh, I would like us to start reading from verse 16. Verse 16 of Romans chapter 6 says, Know you not that to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey is servants you have to whom you obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Know you not, I repeat, 
that to whom you yield yourself servants to obey is servants you had to whom you obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. There are two things involved here. As the scriptures declare that you can't serve two masters, it's either you serve God unto righteousness by obedience or you serve Satan unto death by sin. Remember that we took our bearing from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 19 that says, Do not quench the Spirit of God. And we also looked at the book of um, Timothy. I would just like to read that as well. We also read the book of... First Timothy chapter 4 verse 2. Um, we took our bearing from that place as well as we saw that having their conscience seared with a hot iron and this is not something that just happens overnight I'm going to link Romans chapter 6 that we read from verse 16 to this 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2 your conscience cannot just die suddenly it's a gradual process and like my father in the Lord, Apostle Arama Yosai would say, he says, it is hard work to miss God. You have to labor so hard in order to miss God. Because God loves us so much and he will always help us part time to navigate life. So it is a conscious effort to disobey God perpetually that we allow us miss God. But my charge to us, even as we move on, to the end of this year is that we should be attentive to the voice of the Holy Ghost. The reason again is because there is always the way that might seem right but that way might just lead to destruction. So the scriptures declare that they have their conscience seared with iron. Gradually their conscience died over time because they disobeyed God continuously. And Romans chapter 6 from verse 16 is saying that whoever you continuously yield yourself to obey, you become a servant to that person or spirit. So if you choose to obey God continuously by His Spirit, which is in us, and I said before we closed the last time we met that we should not always look for the spectacular, we should look for the spiritual. It can be very subtle. It can be a very little nudge. A small, still voice. It might not be earthquakey, <laughs> if there is any word like that. It might not be fiery. It might be very subtle instruction. But as we continue to obey those little instructions, we will see the Lord magnified in our lives. And our path continuously shining as the scriptures declare. The path of the just is as a shining light, it shines more and more, brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Even during the course of um, the week that we had our last broadcast, I was also tested by God. On the program, I heard the voice of the Lord do this. Then afterwards, I was like, mm, it's difficult. But guess what? When I did that, and I reached out to my father in the Lord and he sent me a message. He said, the Lord himself will take care of you. And I received it. Guess what? One of my signs through which the God of heaven speaks to me through was restored just by that simple obedience. You know, the scriptures declare, I think in Psalm 74, there about, it says, we see not our signs. Sometimes there are things that we can lose because spiritual things are very slippery. I just discovered that, ah, this thing is coming back. How come? And then I heard the voice of the Lord say, because you obeyed, even as I instructed you to do that which you did. So I don't know if there is any instruction that the Lord has given you thus far since the time we met up until now. From the time we met, I mean, up until now. But I want you to please visit every instruction that the Lord has given to you. Because in it, there is life. Amen. And if we continue to obey God, it leads us unto righteousness. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, whoever we continuously yield ourselves to obey, we become the servant of that very thing. So, if we continuously yield to God unto righteousness through obedience, we will see that our lives will become more like Christ. We are meant, meant to be conformed to the image of Jesus. But if we continuously disobey God, choosing to go in the path of the Adamic nature, of trespassing and transgressing the laws of the Lord, I can guarantee us that the way to that is the way of death. Amen. But God be thanked that we were once servants of sin, but we have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered unto us. In other words, our past should be our past. If we have confessed the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we ought always to trust Him to give us commandments. As the scriptures declare in Psalm 19, I believe, that the commandments of the Lord are pure, enlightening the high. So if we want light to flood our spirit man, we ought to listen for the commands of God. I, I always say that many have received Jesus Christ as their Savior, meaning they are saved from the life of tragedy, sorrow, pain, shame, guilt, and all that. But many are, many of us have not yet received that part of his lordship. We've made him savior, but we have not made him lord. Because a lord will give commands. And thank God, because he is a God of truth and life. He wants us to live in truth of his grace so whatever commands he gives us as the scriptures declare in the book of first john i believe that his commands are not grievous his commandments are not grievous they are meant for our life they are meant to help us enjoy life i mean pardon me they are meant to help us live life to the fullest of god's abundance amen Amen. Hallelujah. So our charge still remains, even as we proceed in this season, that we should be careful to follow God by His Spirit. He said, walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. That's Galatians chapter 5, I believe. Walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. The flesh profits nothing. It is the spirit that quickens us to live life righteously. So please, I just want us to continue daring as we ask God for the grace and the enablement to always listen for his voice. I just shared a testimony about how I followed a very subtle instruction. It just came as a very subtle voice. Do this. And I did it. And I saw one of my signs through which the Lord leads me. It's so sweet to follow Jesus. Those that sow in tears will reap in joy. Sometimes it is difficult to obey. I believe it's difficult sometimes because of the flesh. Not that it's very difficult, but the flesh will tell you something else. But as we navigate our lives in the course and the direction of God's guidance, we will see the profit therein. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we are going to pray together. Trusting that the Lord will help us by His Holy Spirit to continuously follow Him. Because I believe that something is coming upon the world. Something is coming upon the world that is not very palatable. I don't know the time that it will happen, but I believe that something is coming upon the world. COVID-19 was just a test. Hmm. The Lord give us understanding. I don't want to delve into that. That which happened in Israel. They were just feasting and saying that there is peace and suddenly war broke out. There was an attack. It's a sign. May the Lord give us understanding. But I pray that we will be in the right place at the right time because of the Spirit of God in us. Just before we go into prayers, I want to give an opportunity for anyone who is under the sound of my voice, who is yet to make the Lord Jesus Christ their personal Lord and Savior. The scriptures is clear 
God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son Jesus Christ that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. If you desire everlasting life and you're under the sound of my voice, but there has never been a day that you invited the Lord Jesus Christ into your life personally, please say this simple prayer with me. Believing that you are loved by God. Please say after me. Heavenly Father, King of glory, I thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving me your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for my sins. Today, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life. Please cleanse me by your blood and write my name in the book of life. Lead me by your spirit. Woo! Glory to God. In Jesus' name, amen. I welcome you into the kingdom of Jesus. If you have said that prayer, I want you to know that you have just stepped from death unto life. The flesh profits nothing. It is the spirit of God that quickens. And so if you've just stepped into the kingdom of God, I want you to know that you have been saved and rescued from destruction. Welcome. Welcome to the kingdom of light. You will never stumble again because darkness is not your abode anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the anointing. Why not let us pray? We have seen from the scriptures that whosoever we continue to obey, we become a slave or a servant to that thing. If there is anybody who wants to pledge their allegiance afresh to Jesus and trusting him to help us navigate life so that we will end our journey well. If there is anybody under the sound of my voice who trusts that the Lord is king and in his kingdom there is power to live life abundantly and you want to secure your portion an allotment of grace. Let us pray together. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Thank you for everyone that has joined today's program or that will come across this broadcast later. Thank you for our individual lives. Thank you for our family. Thank you for the church universal, even the body of Christ Jesus. Thank you because you have a plan for us and a specific assignment for us that will help us to enjoy life. Thank you, because we choose to follow you today. I join my voice in faith with everyone that is joining in today, with everyone that is listening to this right now. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that we will be obedient to your leadings that we will never quench your spirit O God that nothing shall derail us from the path of life if you can play, pray in the language of the spirit please join me right now if you can't please pray according to your understanding asking God for grace to live a life of holiness, to live a life of obedience unto the Lord Jesus. Azuka pantoris te facado, rebica tombre safatalabre societe cavena, mazuza coteli baroti e chate ruskevani, ai preso sama tovi capo de rus atende, ai preso sava cataya, e shalamana capando riste facobre sa sone matalu catano, e tovre sa sabre gedogobadas, e zuza cotele bresu capatule bere de chante cubra salatora, e reti capato copete copata cayate. Amen. Our first prayer point is, Father, quicken us again that we may live in righteousness. Father, quicken me again that I may live in righteousness. By your spirit, Father, quicken us. 
Is somebody ready to pray that prayer? Zakota brasha katobreski falatu brezi katombre satano. Eriva katubresi ketombre si atavana. Ashaka takata kote riza gedo keruza vreli apatu kerunda kano. Father, quicken us by your spirit. Father, quicken us by your Holy Ghost. Ezuza verusa katombre shi katona. Edive koparate sosane katena. Edombibi babobo sa sobebo kopata kobre sa kandori atano. Rasha katakatua baratos, ripa katombre skitavena, eruta cabreso saive capondi, ajana katoli meruta fedi ebrasa sonate. Oh, mascala vena, rish cadabres covelantombre sizanote cabani, e bibarote koshata pataka, digasco de guinatorie saive naco, saide cabana. Father, deliver us from dead works, help us to be quickened back to life. To walk in the path of righteousness. Oh, by your mercies. Locate us by your spirit today. Quicken us back to life. Azusa roti kapendo risavena. Ekuta labo shala bada yala tela. Edune moresu faiko mento sila. Eduve lamina asori ekura di anto shaide. Bura teku paswa. Edubebo asalo asalo. Egigo sa alundi. Ruvi katombre skaito. Aero shata bresko falamba dokozi alantu kaina. Edokoli ya masailo tevira dovo shanta kabaya. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory to your holy name. Mm. Thank you, Father. This is what I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying. Ayo meile tigiale Saime tu vielo mine kundi kaile du yine tiala deshi Radia kundi le mune tielebe yile nina And I will deal with this in full Um um in, in its fullness on the next broadcast but um i hear the spirit of the lord say that there are some people maybe just one person i don't know that will come across the broad, this broadcast yes you profess that you're a christian yet you have another channel of securing things uh, I'm, I'm looking for the right words to put this across so uh, it seems like yes you attend church services you profess that you are a Christian but you are involved in something like idolatry you still secure something like protection from uh, from these voodoo guys I don't know who you are but God knows uh, and God is a God of mercy if you are ready to let go of those idols, whatever it may be, maybe it's for success, maybe it's for you to sell well in whatever your business is, maybe it's for you to just secure good luck. I want to tell you that all those things are not meant to be with a believer. God is the God of all salvation. There is no other salvation anywhere. There is no success outside of God. God alone is to be worshipped, to be served, to be honored, and to be adored. In Him alone is real prosperity. I charge you today, please let go of all those things that look like charms and all these voodoo, voodoo stuffs. Focus on Jesus. He's able to, to, to secure your destiny for you. He's able to protect you from every form of calamity. Please come into full repentance and please throw those things away. There is no other foundation which can be laid other than that which is already laid, even Jesus Christ. Amen. I would like you to please repent wherever you are, asking God for mercy. If you truly want to let go, God is very ready to save you. He said he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and deliver us from our iniquities and unrighteousness. Father, I have delivered that which you quickened me to say. Help that individual or those individuals who have two channels of securing blessings, which of course and of a truth, only one channel is real and that is you alone. 
You are the solid foundation that we have where we can build for a lasting success. I pray in the name of Jesus that we shall trust you alone, obey you alone, and follow you alone. In the name of Jesus. Zanoves kafeli meruti e karusta veni. Ambre so saleta kabia tayona teli karado shateri. Redi kapando riste fakido. Rebinta kopendu sky teli varodi e shanaga. And in the name of Jesus, if anyone has repented indeed, I pray, Father, that the power of those idols be nullified. The power of those charms be destroyed. By the power of the Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus. Let their lives, O oh God, not be a mockery to the grace of the Lord Jesus. Azuva komberu stefa kadina. Azoli kateru esta kadumbre si kafeno. For promotion comes from you alone. I pray that whatever they went in search of outside of Christ, you will open the eyes of their understanding to see that in you alone is life. And outside of you is death. Thank you, Father, for your mercies. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. O remine tu veri kabelia suzelu niani aletu. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. This is what I see in my spirit. I see somebody who is concerned about how to survive. You are not even worried about tomorrow. You are worried about today. You have nothing to survive on, as it were. I see the Lord preparing before you. Two bowls of abundance. That before you finish this one, you already have another to, to supply your need even for tomorrow. So please do not worry. That's what I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying. Do not worry. Trust God. And continue to do your part. I saw in the book of Psalms recently, that God is the God that is walking salvation upon the earth. So if God says unto us, walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling, it is because he's already working out our salvation for us. And that by his spirit. He has made all things available and he's continuing in his works to keep us safely and secure. He's our provider. He opens his end and he satisfies the desire of every living thing. He knows the number of the years on our head. There is nothing that surpasses his knowledge and understanding. All oh, the depth of the riches, both of the knowledge and the wisdom of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. God knows all things. He's omniscient and he can do all things. Oh, he's omnipotent and he's everywhere. He's omnipresent. He's right there where you are in Africa, in Europe, and is right here in North America, is everywhere. So trust God, obey Him, follow Him. He's working out your salvation. Trust Him, follow Him, and He will make your end to be that expected one that He has confirmed you in Christ for, in Jesus' name. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying that every form of scarcity that is making our lives threatened, that is threatening the staff of our bread. Let such be rebuked by your power right now. Eh, masuka patorie shalando breskila dona. Rekita ka bresko fatalame na rodie shande ruka. Rebikan tom breskite kavena. Oh, mahish aledua yenatorias. God says, I should tell you that you will not only have abundance in your abode but you will also extend to many others you that they are looking at right now that they are looking at as a poor person will come to testify of the lord's goodness and you will also extend 
blessings to others. God is blessing you so that you can be a blessing to others. Father, thank you. No more scarcity. No more scarcity. No more scarcity. He's anointing your head with oil and your cup is running over. You will overflow in joy, in grace, in peace, in prosperity. In Jesus' precious name. Father, thank you. What you say to one, you say to all. I receive my portion of this grace as well. I pray for my fathers, my mothers that are joining in, my brothers, my sisters that are joining in. I pray for my family. I pray for my wife. I pray for myself, O oh God, that we shall follow you till the end and that our lives will never be unstable. Thank you, Father. Woo! Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, mi aledi aredo. Ekute vi aneno si aveli tu yenina. Adi yake tu yeniga. Avele tu yenina. Aye gidi be inori. Aye menu sedia. I'm happy. I'm rejoicing because I hear the voice of the Lord even expounding that which is said. I should declare concerning that individual and everyone trusting God for abundance. Isaiah chapter 60. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Verse 22, the last verse of Isaiah 60. He says, A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will esteem it in his time. No more smallness. Grace for enlargement has come. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you will never be little anymore. You are becoming strong. God is strengthening you. God is enlarge, enlarging you. Grace for expansion has come upon you. In the name of Jesus. A little one shall become a thousand. A small one shall be a strong nation. The Lord will hasten it in his time. Amen. But remember, the flesh profits nothing. It is the Spirit of God that quickens. And we only listen to His voice. We prove that listening by obedience. Whatever He bids you do, do. The first miracle recorded, the first public miracle recorded in the life of Jesus while He was physically here on earth as the Son of God came by obedience. In that day, there was scarcity of wine because the wine was about to finish. And the mother of Jesus came unto him and said, the wine is running out. Jesus said unto the mother, why do you trouble me? It's not yet my time. But the mother failed to even listen to that. She's like, oh, servants, whatever he tells you to do, do. Because I've seen the hand of the Lord upon my son. And when, whenever God tells you a thing, he will give you an instruction. And so when Jesus said unto the servant, fill these jars with water, they obeyed. Fetch a little and give to the master of the ceremony. They obeyed. And the greatest miracle in the life of those couple, when their shame was about to come, was terminated by the king of glory. Just because some people obeyed. So, as the quick Spirit of God quickens you to do a thing, please do, in Jesus' name. I know we are praying, but I felt in my spirit to bring that charge again. It is the Spirit of God that quickens. Even as I'm speaking right now, there is something that God is putting in your mind. As long as it leads to righteousness, why not try to obey? And you will see the hand of the Lord come mightily upon you. It is well within Jesus. And we will finish this well, this year well, 
and strong. 2024 will not end without you securing your portion in the land of the living. In Jesus' precious name. Let us bring this program to a close as we pray together. Father, we thank you. Rekita kaboro do sheti garuste kedua maruste vani. Help us, O God. Help us, O God. Help us, O God, to obey you in full and on time. Help us, O God. Help us, O God. Help us, O God. We choose you and you alone. Kom brasko falada baita. Rekita karuze veli marudie kaskalon te kibayati. Rita kabraso saime takevani. Abreshi kato bresike to koberi katano karida. Mm. Thank you, Father. Oh, yeah. Aye, oh. Emine no vi. Kie no ni. Zaime du. Ima redi. Areku teli me sikidi. Aye, no me ika. As I'm singing and worshiping God in other tongues, I see somebody who's. What side is this? This is this is the right right hand. Yes, right. <clears throat> I see somebody whose right kidney is having some troubles. But as I'm speaking right now, the power of the Lord is touching that right kidney and is quickening that kidney back to life. Your kidney will not fail in the name of Jesus Christ. Rekita parato shani patega. This person is even a woman, and I'm seeing that even you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, rekinda boroste fakindo mbreskelinte kobre atano kasano. Because God has revealed this much, everything that is perfection in you is commanded by the power of the Holy Ghost right now. Reni kamboro soteli magunderi shalagayata. Eruga bados kabeli marute fandi kabelo zaito zaito melike skote vikabari eyote karuza veni rato kobo shanta bresko vila talimo rita kena. It is done in the name of Jesus. In the same vein, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that is trusting God for healing in one area or the other. Even as you place your right hand upon your chest, I command the power of the Lord to flow through your vessel. Let the power of the Holy Ghost saturate your body saturate your soul in the name of jesus i rebuke every spirit of infirmity be bound and i release the grace of the healing of jesus to come upon your bodies right now right now in the name of jesus christ Rimos ateli abezuze ni kaveni yento kobile so saino verika pandu ketano ayente. You will not lose your mind in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining in today. I believe that the Lord has done a great work in your life. I'm being confident of this very thing. That he who has started a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Jesus. Continue to move from strength to strength and from glory to glory. Remember, Jesus is Lord forever and it's all about him. Till I come again your way next week. God bless you and have a fruitful weekend and week ahead. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.